Hey, America, I'm Wayne Brady. Christmas, New Year's, the Super Bowl, Auntie Sadie's 90th birthdays, those are great days, but this is the day that we've been waiting for. The Royal Canaan Puppy Pre-Show is finally here. America goes wild. Now, even grand champions start as puppies, right? So to get everyone excited for the AKC National Championship presented by Royal Canaan coming up at 2 p.m. Eastern January 17th on ABC, we asked you for your puppy videos and boy did you deliver. I can't wait to share all the cuteness. Now to help me with this very difficult job, I'm bringing in my friend and the host of the upcoming National Championship, the one, the only, Mary Carrillo. Hello, Miss Mary. Hello, Wayne. Are you ready to see some cute puppies? Shall we commence? Absolutely. Bring the puppies on. Let's go. Now, I am ready. You are ready. Now, first, let me establish the format. We'll have four categories. Puppy playtime, best buds, heartwarming moments, and freestyle. To any freestyle rappers, keep it to yourself. This is all about the dogs. Our expert panel of judges, who we'll be meeting shortly, will advance one video from each of the categories. You, Mary, you have the honors of Best in Show Judge, where you'll identify the top prize winner. Now here are our favorites from the first category, Puppy Playtime. The entries are Stella. You gotta like Stella. I mean, she's already cheating at golf. I mean, look at this, no guilty conscience. <laughs> And this is Dixie, who's obviously asking Wayne for a refill of the water bowl. Don't drink that, Dixie. Don't make your own water. And who's this? This dog is named Mellow. That's Mellow. Mellow is... Not Mellow. Mellow, you got... I know 2020 was hard, but calm down, man. Yeah, calm down, Mellow. Be like this guy. Now, now this is Toby, helping out with the chores. And this is Turbo Moose. Experiencing snow for the first time. That is a good name for this dog. Let's bring in our first judge, Dr. Diara Blue, veterinarian and TV personality. Welcome, Dr. Blue. Now, these puppies seem to be at the top of their game, natural-born athletes. Now, what does it take to give your new pup the best start at life? Well, I, I can tell you right now, all of these little pups have started off with great lives, and it's just so important that once you get home and settle, Make an appointment with your veterinarian. Get them directly over to me, Dr. Blue, or any other veterinarian so we can do an overall check. We really want to make sure there's not any abnormalities that they're born with. We want to make sure that we're doing our vaccines, you know, doing the dewormings, checking for parasites that they have so these guys can have the best chance at life. And don't forget, give them a whole lot of love. Whole lot of love. Absolutely. Okay, I've got to ask you the big question. Who from the puppy playtime category is moving on? You know, it was a hard one, but I gotta say, the winner's gotta be Toby. I mean, the puppy in the leaves, come on, that's just so much puppy joy. You gotta love that. And it's like dual purpose. You cleaned up the yard at the same time. That's a win-win. Oh, okay. Well, I had my money on Turbo. But well, we're gonna see Toby in the final. Now, we had so much fun with these puppies, but the videos that stick with us are more than just fun. They're also moving. Yeah, Wayne, this is a sweet, sweet category indeed. Here are the top contestants for our next category, Heartwarming Moments. Oh, there's Mars falling asleep in his playpen. So tired. Oh, Mars has got to learn how to pace himself, Wayne. Now this guy, Nero, is amazed to find another puppy in the house. This is my house. Who are you? 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 Now, Atlas, is training to be a service dog with Lucinda, who has autism. I'm so happy. Now, did you see that? That's Lucinda saying, I'm so happy. And now the natural born comedian, Moose. And lastly, known as the superhero, the Bed Wrangler. When it's time to sleep, it's time to sleep. <laughs> Wayne, I have a feeling Wrangler has done enough wrangling for the day. Yes, Wrangler is ready to go to sleep. It's done. It's done. But you, please, don't fall asleep yet. Royal Canaan's next expert judge is Jess Rona, a celebrity groomer. Her Instagram videos are amazing. Hey, Jess, now please tell me, what are the keys to making a good puppy video? I think the key to a good puppy video is something that makes you feel something. I just felt so much joy and love watching these videos. And I just want to mention, if you have a puppy, it is so important to get them to the groomers very early on. Groomers like me, we can check in their ears, check their teeth, and we can examine their skin and coat when they're super young. So it's really, really important to get your dog started with the groomer very early on. All dogs need grooming, but only one wins the puppy contest. 
So Jess, who do you advance from this group? Okay, so this is an extremely difficult decision, but the way Atlas and Lucinda were snuggling under that blanket, it just, it made me feel. That's my pick. All right, a big round of applause for Atlas, and since it's just me here, I'll do it. Atlas, Lucinda, you're in the final. Congratulations. Dogs are among the most social creatures on Earth. That's why we welcome them into our home. That's why we love them. Man's best friend, right? Our third category, the best buds. Top entrants featured pups with their best buddies on four legs or two. Here's Cooper. Who's your best friend? Yep. Now see, Cooper knows who's in his corner. Who's your buddy? We all need a friend like that. But more importantly, I think we all need a friend like this. See, Ella is trying to let Brandy in. But Brandy can't just quite figure out the door. Girl, come in, I said come in. But how do I get in? Girl, I said move. I love this one, Wayne. This is puppy love. This is Deacon with Thatcher. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Aww. Is this Thelma and Louise? Uh, it's Haley and Lulu, but I think you're exactly right about the Thelma and Louise part. Make it break for it. <laughs> and now we have a little man-to-man -man defense with Hina. Is that man-to-man -man or, or puppy-to-man? What do we call this? Man's best friend to man? <laughs> Mary, I think this is one of the, the hardest jobs on the planet at this second to be able to pick <laughs> All of these puppies are, are beautiful. I just wish I had a puppy or two with me right now. If I had a dog here right now, then a brother would be very happy. If only I could have puppies materialize out of nowhere <laughs> like this. Come here. Look who I found, Mary. Oh, it's beautiful. This is Lucy. This is Lucy. Now, Lucy is my new surrogate best friend. Now, hey, Lucy, just hang out with me, okay? Thanks, Lucy. And now we're gonna get to judging the best buds category. Let's bring in someone. Now we have Brady Foster, who is master trainer at K9 Gunner Tactical. Hey Brady, while we're looking at all these dogs bonding with other dogs, and in my case, bonding with people, is one more important in the long-term development of the puppy, a relationship with other dogs or with people? Absolutely not. They both play vital roles in the encouragement and growth of the dog growing through the young puppy ages. But these interactions have to be positive. If a dog has a bad experience with a person or let's just say another dog, they might carry that into young adulthood, young puppyhood and think that all interactions between this dog or this human is always gonna be like that. So it's important that these interactions are positive both with puppies, other dogs and also humans. We certainly saw that in our best bud selections. So. Who among our best buddies are you advancing? Lucy has a couple favorites. Uh-huh. Girl, I feel the same thing. So, Brady? Well, Wayne, Deacon and Thatcher just had that, that overall, that bond they looked like they were building from the young age of both the child and the puppy. And I know going forward with this young dog and this young child, their relationship is going to be rock solid. So I'd have to go with Deacon and Thatcher. Deacon and Thatcher, yay! Good job, guys. Thank you so much, Brady. Now for our final group, let's bring back Dr. Blue. Now, Dr. Blue, this is a straight up hypothetical. Let's say that I just met a puppy on a television set and I just wanted to go to my car, drive to my place, lock the door and keep the puppy. What would that puppy need to eat to ensure a healthy adulthood for this hypothetical puppy in this hypothetical theft? <laughs> well, Wayne, if you somehow walked off that stage with a new puppy, I would have to say, come on down, you want a new puppy. Da -da -da -da. I mean, really, you can't just walk out here with a puppy. But honestly, we need to talk about the, the key role that diet plays in a puppy's life. There are certain key ingredients that we need, whether it's the nutrients or these, you know, the minerals, the vitamins that puppies really need to develop to the dogs that they're going to be, because they're not always going to be puppies. I really want to make sure that we get them a solid diet, and Royal Canin does a great job of that. Right. Yes, I agree 100%, and so does Lucy. Lucy has to go. All right, Lucy. Run. Be free. I'll see you at home. Now, here are some of our favorite freestyle category videos. Now, freestyle means it can be about anything, and we truly got everything. Do you ever feel like you're just chasing your own tail in life, Tito? Well, you know what I mean? And got it. <laughs> Aw, who's this? That's Mabel. Oh, she sees the ghost of meals past. 
And what do you think about Jeff there, Mary? Why, Jeff? Why are you why are you only walking on two legs? I just I don't understand why Jeff is making this. This makes hard. it really easy to use the bathroom, I guess. Tell me about this one. This is Jack's. Jack's idea of a good time is. See, this looks easier. Yeah, right? That looks easier than what Jeff is doing. Now why and, are we looking at a pumpkin? And here's pumpkin. What's going on here? Oh! Ta-da! Vegas puppy! <laughs> That's Hattie. <laughs> Sometimes I think that I'm weird, that, that I'm the only person that, that <laughs> plays with my dogs and gives them voices and makes them do things like ride on slides. But I think a lot of us do that. A lot of us do that. And puppies, they, they got a nice sense of humor. They pretty much go along with anything, don't they? Puppies are funny. Puppies are very funny. Yeah, they are. Now, Dr. Blue, I've got to ask you, who is our fourth and final finalist? The finalist is, it's got to be Hattie. Hattie in the pumpkin. I mean, come on. This is too cute. Go Hattie. The pumpkin. Congratulations, <laughs> pumpkin. Well, that's it. Mary, the best in show slate is set. Mary, this whole show has been leading up to you. Let's go. Oh, boy, the pressure, the puppy pressure. There's nothing like it, is there? But I am ready. Now, I have to say on behalf of the folks at Royal Canaan and for all of our judges, it's been a pleasure watching all of these videos. They've been heartwarming. And we want to thank you, the thousands of people who shared your joy and your best friends with us. But, alas and alack, there must be a winner because Dems are the rules. Now, our esteemed panel narrowed it down to four finalists. Mary Carrillo, host of the upcoming AKC National Championship, has the honor. Here we go. All right, Wayne, can you just show me the four finalists one more time? Do I want to see four playful puppies doing what they do best? Of course, here we go. We have Toby of Leaf Jumping fame. That looks so freeing. I want to be Toby when I grow up. He just loves me. There's Atlas, the therapy poodle, with his girl Lucinda. Such a cute couple, but they're not the only cute couple because we also have Deacon and Thatcher on the swing. Just swinging. Aww. And last but not least, the peekaboo puppy, Hattie. Peekaboo! <laughs> My mom told me that kid story that all puppies come from pumpkins, and I didn't believe her, but now at 40 something, <laughs> now I do. Thanks, mom. Now, Mary, the moment of truth. I'm gonna go with what your mom taught you, because I gotta say, I love the pumpkin puppy. My choice is Hattie, that's my puppy pick. Hattie, the peekaboo puppy is the puppy pick. That's a lot of alliteration. Hattie, you win it all, congratulations. A year's supply of Royal Canaan puppy food, $5,000 and probably a lot more social media followers. I'm gonna follow her, she'll blow up and be a huge influencer. Now Mary and I will see everybody January 17th on ABC for the Full Grown Puppy AKC National Championship presented by Royal Canaan. Thanks everybody, bye-bye. <laughs>